Hey, I'm Jeff Harrison. Behind the camera is my partner, Amy Anderson. Today we want to talk about in this video how to control distance because at the end of the day, distance is more important in direction. And let me give you an example. Let's say, for instance, you have a 30 foot putt and you misread it by a foot, but you hit it the right distance, you're a foot away. But if you hit it directly online, but you hit it 10 feet too far, I'm putting my money on that one footer. How about you? So today we're going to talk about how to control distance and we're going to do it differently than maybe you've ever heard it because I liken it to, you know what, if I get a bill or I get something in the mail and I'm going to create a file folder and my wife says, hey Jeff, where is this particular uh, item? I don't want to have to go to my desk on a stack file and try to dig it out. I want to simply open the file drawer, say there it is, pull it out and say here you go. Now, let me back up for a second on the stack file. That's how most people play golf, especially when it comes to feel. They have great feel that day. Sometimes they can find it. It just happens to be on the top of the file. I know how hard to hit my 10 footers, my six footers, my 10, my 20 footers. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to say, you know what? No matter where I am, I have perfect distance control. Now, let me show you where you're going to go. I had an opportunity yesterday to play a really nice golf course and from where I normally play, the greens are a lot faster. Now, how did I know that? I dropped a ball on the green and in one putt, I knew exactly how fast the greens were and all day my distance control was not surprisingly very good. It was by design. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in really three easy steps. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a reference down here. In other words, our starting line. I'm gonna put a T in the ground and that's where I'm gonna hit all my putts from so I can be consistent. Okay, so the, the second thing we're gonna do is now we have to establish that file, if you will. This is like building that, that file within our filing cabinet. We need to know, hey, when we're a certain distance away, how hard is that? Well, I liken my swing speed to like a volume control on your stereo. Speed one, you know, you can barely hear it. It's really nice background. You're watching something else. You're working, you're talking to somebody. In other words, it's not distracting. It's not very fast, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use three steps. Now you can use anything you want. I've used three steps for now decades and it's very effective for me because typically if I'm, if I'm short and I'm three steps away or two steps away, it's my one speed. So I'm gonna just gonna do this. I'm gonna take three steps, my normal steps, no crazy walks, one, two, three. And on that third step, I'm just going to put a T in the ground. So I want you to think of that as representing the front of the green or front of the hole. That's your start, your finish line. But what I'm going to do is say, hey, my ball to go in the hole has to cross that line, but I want it to go at a speed where it's not going so fast that it can't stop in the hole. You know, it bounces out. Okay, because you know there, there's a saying that says, a ball when it's hit hard enough, every putt is straight. We don't want to be in that situation. We want to be in a situation where the ball has a chance to go in. So I'm going to put a second tee down about 12 to 18 inches beyond the hole. You know, a couple feet, that's okay. That means the ball, if I roll this and it stays within these two tees, I'm going to start saying, hey, that's speed one. Okay? Again, you know me of that is I like black and white. Okay? So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to hit some putts and my whole goal is to now start training my speed one of the faster I move my shoulders, the farther the ball goes. If I had a putt and it goes too far, gosh, I'm just gonna slow my shoulders down. Now, sometimes you might use the terminology, I'm not gonna hit it as hard. I think of hitting it, we hit it with our hands, we stroke it with our shoulders, that's our power source. It's like when you wanna accelerate your car, you don't get your spouse on the outside of the car pushing the tires. You just accelerate through the gas pedal. So we're going to use our shoulders as our gas pedal. So I'm going to hit a few putts and I want you to watch what I'm doing here. So as I hit these putts, I'm going to just feel like one back and one through. Now, that means my stroke is like a pendulum. We start talking about this right away about a pendulum. A pendulum has two things that are very much in common. It looks like it's the same speed back, same speed through, and it looks like the size of the stroke is the same. So when somebody says, well, I've learned to putt by taking my putter back so far. Well, I can take a putter back this far and hit it six inches. Or I can take it back this far and hit it 60 feet. I want you to have a nice pendulum motion because here's the third thing about a pendulum is so important and it's true with every swing in your game is the fastest part of a pendulum is always what do you say? That's right. It's at the bottom of the swing. That's where the ball's hanging out. So if you're decelerating, 
that means you've accelerated the wrong spot. You're not creating a pendulum. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm thinking one back, one through. That's that slow speed we're talking about. One back, one through. Now, yes, that just happened to be in a perfect spot, but you know, I've done this, like I said, for decades. But now let's say, for instance, if I hit another putt and I hit it a little short, that means I need to do what? That's right, increase my shoulder speed because I'm trying to get it to be consistent. And in my head, I'm using my, my brain like a metronome. One back, one through. One back, one through. And I'm telling myself my, that in my head. One back, one through. And that was the right speed. If that ball weren't away, go, it would have gone in that zone. That means if I would hit that putt, speed-wise, it would have been my distance. Now here's the thing I want you to start getting used to. As you're hitting these putts, I want you to say, hey, I can't go to speed two until I hit five or ten in a row in that zone. And what you're starting to do is you're starting to create a file in your brain and your touch of what one feels like. Okay? Now, how important is that? Well, here's what's going to happen, gang. As you get used to that, that means when you're out playing golf, how do you convert that out on the golf course? You're going to walk to the hole and you say, oh, it's three steps. Immediately you know what your answer is about speed. It's one back, one through. Most of the time, putts are missed, shots are missed, because you're not confident with what you're doing. You decelerate, you over-accelerate, and you hit it way too far, way too short, because you're not sure. But when you walk it off and it's three steps, and you know that's a one, your confidence has gone way up. It's just like if you've gotten your electric bill in the mail and you've paid it, where are you gonna file it? No, you're not filing the cable bill, you're gonna put it confidently in the electric folder. So now if anybody asks you, you can easily go back there and extract it anytime you want. This is gonna be exactly the same way. Now, here's your challenge, here's your homework. Is now, from that first tee, the three steps, Take three more steps. Put a tee down, put your second tee down about 18 to 24 inches, do the same thing. Do it to one, two, and three. So it's three steps, six steps, nine steps. Now here's the coolest part. You don't need to know what four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are because now you know what they aren't. Now what I mean by that is you walk out of here going, ooh, that's 15 steps. That's a five, I've never done a five. But all of a sudden, you know what the feeling is like between one and two, two and three. And by the time you get to five, you now go, okay, five back, five through, five back, five through. You have a very good clue, and it's amazing. It's like playing catch. All of a sudden, you throw a ball to somebody that's two feet away or 20 feet away. How did you know how to throw it 20 feet when you haven't been practicing that? It's an eight. You know what it's not. You know it's not a one, you know it's not a two, it's not a three. It's faster than that. And it's amazing how quickly you become a very good putter. And in fact, a very great putter in a short period of time, knowing how your speed controls your distance. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to some feedback on this. I wanna hear about your distance control. Oh, now before I leave, one little tip. If you're going out there and you know that if you, if you have nine steps, it's a speed three, yet, your distance control isn't really good, and I'm in the bushes, I'm looking, and I'm watching, I'm saying, well, you're not even walking it off. No kidding. That's like saying, you know what, I'm gonna blindfold myself, and I'm gonna file all these bills in the correct folder. It just doesn't work that way. Take a second, walk it off, and go, that's six steps. You already know, it's two. It's nine steps, that's a three. Use that, don't go and say, it'd be like you going to the doctor and saying, you know, Doc says, well, you know what, here's, this, here's your, subscription, or your prescription, you're going to get well on this, but you have to get one pill a day for 30 days. And you decide, you know what, I'm just going to take them all at once, I don't really have time to do that. And guess what, Who's not, who missed their tea time tomorrow because you're sick, because you ate too many of those pills? I want you to make sure you walk it off and get, that, get the distance. It will make your confidence soar. Now I'm out of here. I'm Jeff Harrison, my partner behind the camera, Amy Anderson. Have an awesome day.